How is it going out there, everybody? This is Jordan Jones. Now I'm going to make a full comprehensive guide for the uh, exhibition matches for Super KO Boxing 2 speedrunning. Um, excuse me. See if you can give me a favor and leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it. Be notified every time my new videos come out. And we're gonna do this guide. So it's gonna be three fights: Babyface, fifteen pence, and CM 0083 So what we gotta do is um, we gotta do. This. So Babyface, what you gotta do is um, starting out. Here's how we're gonna speak around Babyface. Start by taunting him once, like this. It's it's safe only to taunt once. If it gives you the opportunity to talk more times, you can go for it. The important thing with him is you cannot hit him in the face unless there's special circumstances. So when he opens his mouth like this, you can punch him in the face. If you do it any other time, he hugs you. And when he hugs, if you punch him in the face any other time, he hugs you. And then that means you have to shake your iPod Touch or iPad or iPhone, whatever you're using to play this game with, to break out of the hug. So, we're going to start by taunting, like this, dodge, punch him in the face, taunt after every combo, if his, his hearts are above his head, punch him in the stomach, if they're not above his head, punch him in the face, because the face punches do more damage than gut punches. Now build up the level 3 super meter. Charge the level 3 super meter and this will get your dizzy. This will get him dizzy. Now what you're going to do is the dizzy combo. 3 stomach punches, 3 face punches, 2 stomach punches, 2 face punches, stomach face, right hook punch, left hook punch, right hook punch, left hook punch, tall and super. Keep in mind when it's asking you to do those hook punches, you don't even have to do hook punches. You can also just do... Um, you can also just do face punches, like actual face punches as well. That's something to keep in mind about. And then just taunt to build up Super Mater and then just hit the Super button and then he's down. As soon as he gets back up, just for a safety precaution, don't taunt right away. The only reason why I taunt it is because Make sure you attack on every combo. Dodge these punches. Just dodge them. This time we'll be able to knock him down before. If you have full super meter here, use your level 3 super here to knock him down. The good news with baby face is that he will never block the level 3 super meter. Sometimes he will stay down, but it's rare. It's only like a 1 in 45 chance. If you're in this situation, just keep taunting. That's all you do. And then just finish him off. Okay, so I want to go over a few things with Babyface, so, because, so what we got to do is we got to do this, so we got to do this, so we got to, I want to show you um, level 3 super him down. So we got to do this. So remember what we do. And when he gets back up, here's what you have to do. He got up on the 3 count. So just hold your guard if his eyes are shut. Block these two. Dodge. Taunt. I wasn't able to attack in time, so. Mm -hmm. 
If he's crying like that, just keep taunting. That's all you gotta do. Dodge. And now what we gotta do is, um, I'm gonna show you... Okay, so we got him DZ with a level 3 Super Punch. Here's the faster way to the DZ combo. It's, um, three gut punches, three face punches, two gut punches, two face punches, gut, face, 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 taunt, and then use the super. That's how you do it without doing any hook punches. Just like that. Sometimes he will do a spin attack in phase three. If he does, you just keep blocking it and then wait until he raises his hands and punch him in the stomach for an instant knockdown. Which is pretty rare. It's 50% likely that he'll do it. Half time he'll do it, half time he won't. I want to show you at least one time. Thank you. So, all you have to do is keep blocking, and then when you see him cover his face, just punch him in the stomach. That's all you gotta do. Let's go over the fight one more time. Excuse me. And then after that, we'll move on to 15 pence. Because 15 pence won't be as complicated as Babyface. Because I know Babyface is kind of complicated. But still not too difficult. And of course, when you're speedrunning the category of the exhibition matches, you start the timer. Um, you will start the timer when you select Babyface, and you end the timer when the KO or TKO appears on CMO 83. Okay, so. Taunt as much as possible. Keep this in mind. I was trying. Don't ever try to do level three super in that scenario. Do it only in the safer times like this one. Once you do this, there you go. He's down. If he does a spin attack when he gets up, it's great for you. It's gonna happen half the time, but if it if it if it don't happen, just keep doing what you've been doing. If it does happen, it's great for you. That means you get the instant knockdown when he does it. And bye bye, baby face. That's baby face. That's all you need to know when you're speed running baby face in Super KO Boxing 2. Now we're moving on to 15 pence. So 15 pence, what you gotta do, he's actually a really straightforward fight. So what you gotta do with 15 pence, he's incredibly easy. So what you gotta do is, um, here's what you do. You do it like this. You start the fight by taunting like this. And then what you gotta do is, um, dodge. You have to hook punch and then do a combo. Get his health down to about 75% health. And then hook punch and then taunt. You can taunt twice while he's stunned. And then now what you're going to do is you're going to hook punch to stun him. And then do a level 3 super punch to knock him down. That's all you got to do. See how easy that was? No skill at all. Let's go over it one more time. Like I said, we could be done with him really quickly and move on to see him. Uh, after we go over him one more time, we'll just move on to see him 0083. After this combo, remember to taunt. Remember to taunt twice after these hook punches here to build super meter. 
and then just level three super him down. That's all you got to do. And that's 15 pence for you. Now he's down for the 10 count. And he's guaranteed to be down for the 10 count. Guaranteed. That's all you got to do. So we are done with 15 pence. See how easy that was? No skill at all. One of the easiest fights in the game to speed run. Excuse me. Now I'm moving on to the final opponent, which is um, CM0083. So what we got to do with this guy is, um, this guy is also really easy to speed run. But does have a few variations. Um, so start the fight by taunting. Okay, so what you want to do is... um, If he does the straight jab right away, dodge it. And then dodge right to avoid his next punch. And then do some gut punches after this. Taunt after every combo. That's your opportunity to taunt twice. Is after that quick dodge whenever he does his light blinking thing. That means you dodge right and then quit very quickly dodge left immediately after. Then dodge this. Keep doing your combo. After it's done, taunt him. Bring him down to 75% health. Just like we did with 15 pence. Now we wait for the blinking thing. Do a quick dodge and then level 3 super him down. <clears throat> That's all you got to do. Every time you knock him down, you'll earn a super. Except for when you hit his weak spot. He got up. Now what you're going to do is you're going to um, taunt just to add super meter. And you're hoping at this point... You're hoping at this point all four of his lights blink. If that happens, just wait. Just wait a touch and then punch him in the stomach for an instant knockdown. That's all you got to do. Super simple, right? Now, when he gets back up, what you got to do is, um, you got to do whatever he's going to do what's called the Laster Blast. You want to hook punch him when he does it. You want to do a quick dodge into a hook punch when he does it. Every time you see those lights flash, just do the quick dodge. Now, if he does it, quick dodge and then level 3 super him just to do extra damage. Then just do this. I told you, this is a really straightforward fight. But does have a, a little bit of RNG in it. Uh, I, I can't believe I'm getting knocked down. So if you ever get knocked down, just wait till the numbers connect and tap the screen to get back up. <clears throat> so. That's it. Let's go over the fight one more time. So now what we're gonna do, remember, taunt right taunt right away. Just remember. Quick dodge if he does that, and then keep attacking him. Dodge these two, keep attacking him. Make sure you dodge right for the very very first dodge they dodge. It gets you in the habit of always dodging right. Excuse me. I only taunt once in that scenario. This is the only scenario where you taunt twice. Is after you do that quick dodge. Just remember that. Quick dodge. Level 3 super punch him down. That's phase 1. It's that simple. And then. When he gets up. You're hoping he does the laster blast. So go ahead and taunt. Go ahead and taunt. Just to add super meter. You can dodge and punch. Just keep dodging and punching. Try to add as much super meter as you can in before the laster blast. I mean, before the... Not before the laster blast. I mean, before all four lights blink. And then when they blink, just punch him in the stomach for instant knockdown. That's all you gotta do. It's that simple. And then just do that. 
when the numbers connect while the opponent is down, you can tap the screen to regain health. Sometimes he will stay down for the count. If he does, it's great for you. If he, if he gets back up, you just got to do the phase three I taught you. Quick dodge, level three super him in this scenario, when, only when he does that attack. Sometimes... <sighs> there we go. We earn some supers, and then you can use it to knock him down. And that's all to explain about CLMO 83. He's just a really straightforward fight. That's it for the exhibition matches, guys. So if you have any questions about the exhibition matches, please feel free to leave your questions in the comment section. And I'll be glad to answer them to the best of my ability. And thank you very much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like on the video. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it to be notified every time my new videos come out. Have a great day, guys. Peace out.